Hey gang, welcome back to the channel. Today we got a quick look on my Fender Mustang American Performer in three-tone sunburst. Right off the bat, I got to say, when I got this, I wasn't even looking at Mustangs. Wasn't even really interested in them, to be honest with you. Um, the reason I did get it is because I found this one for such a good deal. Um, I, uh, these these retail for $13.99, and I got this one brand new, you know, plastic still on it and everything, um, for l less than half of that. Actually, 64% off, if you want to do the math. So it was a deal that I just couldn't pass up. <laughs> So real fast, let's look at the details. Uh, it's got an alder body. It's got a maple neck, rosewood fretboard. Pretty nice hunk of rosewood, it looks like. Um, it's got the modern, you know, what's kind of like now the common uh, modern C profile that you see on a lot of, you know, the current Fender guitars. Uh, and it's got jumbo frets, what they're calling jumbo frets. And, and they are bigger than what you would normally see, you know, on a Fender guitar, it seems like. Um, they're not the biggest jumbo frets that I've ever seen. But, you know, they're, they're nice frets to have on a guitar because, you know, a lot of these kind of fenders kind of have, you know, thin, narrow, you know, vintage style frets. And uh, it's nice to see, you know, some good size frets on the guitar. And, um, you know, fret work really, really good, all level, no sharp ends or anything. Nice neck. So looking at hardware on a guitar, uh, it comes normally with um, some really cool tuners. They're, they look like vintage Cluzons, uh, but they're, they're more modern. Um, they're like a modern take on them. And they actually don't have screws in the back, you know, to hold them on like, you know, normal Cluzons would. They, they have like a two pin system like you see on them, you know, a lot of the modern fenders. And they're held in place, you know, by those two pins and then, you know, the nuts on top. Um, and they're, you know, the gear ratio inside them is, is you know, more updated. Really, really nice tuners. But <laughs> you guys know me. Uh, I immediately put a set of the Graftech ratio locking tuners on mine as soon as I got it home because, you know, it's me. I have to have my Graftech ratio locking tuners. Uh, but like I said, the tuners that come on the guitar seem really, really cool. And they seem, you know, like they work really good. Now down on this end, um, it has, you know, your Mustang bridge here and a, an updated version of the Mustang tremolo. And to be honest with you, I don't know enough about Mustangs to know what's different between this one and like a normal Mustang bridge, to be honest with you. Um, I did find it very finicky to set up. It seems about as finicky to set up as like setting up a Floyd Rose tremolo for the first time. Um, a lot of, you know, tune it, tweak something, retune it. 
tweak something else, retune it, you know, do a little another tweak, retune, you know, a lot of bouncing back and forth. Um, and it really, really took me, honestly, about as long to set up as it does to set up, you know, like I said, a Floyd Rose tremolo. Um, that being said, it, it really seems like a cool tremolo. It's very expressive. Um, it, it's as soon as you, you know, touch the bar, it's, you know, it's like active. Um, and, and I honestly, I think that's kind of cool. So um, I know a lot of people say, oh, they don't stay in tune. Um, and at first, when I first started playing it, it did seem like it went out of tune a little bit. Uh, I think something that's crucial is making sure your strings are stretched out. Like, you know, that's pretty much crucial on any floating, you know, tremolo, right? Um, but this one seemed like it was even more crucial. But, you know, like I said, if, if you set if you set it up right and you take the time to set it up, you know, 100%, it does seem like it stays in tune pretty good. And like I said, it's just so expressive. It's It's really a fun tremolo to use, but you really, really, you know, have to make sure it's set up right. This is where I was initially like, eh. Um, and the reason is these these Yosemite single coils. Uh, there's an Alnico two in the bridge, Alnico four in the neck. Um, these pickups are very bright, wiry sounding, thin sounding. Um, and you know maybe I guess that's a Mustang thing, um, but I, I wasn't enthralled with them at first. Um, but you know sometimes you want a wiry sound, a thinner sound, a brighter sound. And so I whereas at first I was like, ah, I'm probably gonna have to replace these pickups. After having lived with it for a little bit, now I'm like, ah, eh, you know, I'm gonna keep it the way it is because it's it's a guitar to do a job for me, right? There's a single volume and a single tone and a three-way switch for the rest of the electronics. So Looking at the pickups, you know, like I said, they they definitely have a sound to them, and I'm assuming that's kind of a Mustang thing, being you know thinner, brighter, wiry type sound. I keep saying, um, this is a guitar that I find is good for recording to be like a second or third guitar in a track. You know, it's it's got a different sound, a different vibe that kind of sits in the mix at a different place. Uh, you know, than say like a humbucker guitar would. And that is very useful for me for, you know, recording. So um, that being said, I wouldn't want this as my only guitar. You know what I mean? Um, this is definitely a guitar that I add, you know, on to something else. But, you know, um, the pickups definitely have a vibe and, you know, you just have to figure out if it's something that, you know, that you can use. We'll do some tone tables for you. Of course, it means we're going to use the same riff we always do.
do it for the quick look of the Fender Mustang American Performer. Uh, a quirky guitar for sure. It's got its own thing, its own vibe going. Um, I don't think you need to be you know, a smaller person to enjoy this. I'm a pretty big dude, obviously. The 24 inch scale length definitely is, is something. It's a fun guitar to play. Uh, I think if you are on the smaller side or you're more delicate, I guess, or something like that, um, I think you would really like this guitar probably. But like I said, you don't have to be you know, smaller to enjoy the guitar. I, I think it's a really fun guitar to play. Like I said, the 24 inch scale length you know, definitely has a vibe. Uh, and, you know, I, I enjoy playing the guitar. I have a fun time playing the guitar. So um, I wouldn't want this guitar personally at $13.99. But like I said, I got such a great deal on it um, that, you know, I really couldn't pass it up. And like I said, I wasn't even looking for a Mustang or had interest in it really. But it was such a deal. I was like, eh, you know, I'll give it a shot. Worst, worst case scenario, I just resell it and probably make a little bit on it, you know. So, but it's definitely a keeper for me now. I want to thank you guys for checking it out with me. We'll see you next time.